Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Well, the hits keep coming, and coming, and coming. And this is the sad thing about football, is football is a war of attrition. You're going to lose people, and that's why you have to plan for a rainy day. Unfortunately, the Cowboys have been exposed at the offensive line where we've already lost Tyron Smith pretty much until, you know, maybe the last few games of the season. And last night, Connor McGovern ended up getting hurt last night as well. And it looks like he's got the dreaded high ankle sprain and will be out two to four weeks. So basically the rest of September, at minimum, Connor Williams, excuse me, Connor McGovern will be gone. Um which hurts, of course, a depleted offensive line. Now, what we'd heard earlier this morning is that Jason Peters, of course, is going to be getting ramped up and probably thrown into action a lot sooner than what we had looked at. Uh, the Cowboys, to mitigate um, soft tissue injuries, um, have a tendency to like to bring guys on slowly before start throwing them to the action. Um, but with um, Connor McGovern, being injured, then that probably means that Tyler Smith might be moved back to guard, and then of course Jason Peters becomes our starter. Um, not ideal, not an ideal at all. And the jokes that people made about Jason Peters, you know, being the starter, well, um, Tyler Smith did not play bad, but the hit that ended up getting Dak Prescott came from Tyler Smith's guy. He was going against an all pro guy in Shaq Barnett, which is not an easy thing to do. So, we've got that. And if that wasn't enough on top of Dak Prescott having surgery on his hand, we also are learning that J. Ron Curse, yeah, J. Ron Curse, our outstanding safety, our guy with the uh, green dot, of course, on his helmet calling out the plays, who was questionable and surprised to start last night, did. And he has a strained MCL uh, in his knee. So... He is looking at two to four weeks of being out. So now all of a sudden, at least as far as safeties go, we are deep in safety. We at least at the moment have a lot to rely on, which is why you want to have backups that are quality backups, Jerry Jones. Um, on the offensive line, before Tyron Smith, before Connor uh, McGovern were injured, we were already razor thin. And this just gets even worse. Um, we were really close to last night, Josh Ball having to start. And if you're not scared of having Josh Ball or Matt Lewinsko, who did not have a training camp as starters, be very afraid. And all you guys out there that are saying, oh, well, let's just go get Cam Newton or let's trade for Kaepernick or, you know, let's get just get another. It's, it's, that's not the problem. It's not the problem. You have to have receivers that can get separation and get open. You have to have offensive linemen that can actually block. Or it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. Take a look at Aaron Rodgers yesterday. His receivers, it, it was literally the mirror image of the Cowboys game with the exception of Aaron Rodgers didn't get his hand broken. But I can guarantee you, he's definitely not happy about what he's got there to work with. And if you don't think that losing Devontae Adams or us losing Amari Cooper makes a difference, then you really just don't understand the game of football. So... Um, there's that. We'll definitely be talking about this more tonight at our live stream at 9 o'clock. I'm sure it's going to be cram-packed with Eagle, Giant, and Washington Trolls. But hey, when you're America's team, you know they love to go ahead and get you when you're down. But guess what? It ain't over. It ain't over. And in fact... Be a coffee bean. Be a coffee bean. And I'll have more on being a coffee bean later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about the coffee bean tonight. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, it's freaking Monday. <laughs>